hopefully things are going well for you guys. As for me, I guess it's been like a couple of weeks or something like that. But hey, time flies by really fast. But a couple of weeks ago, I ended up getting me a hold of a couple of anime figurines. As a matter of fact, waifu figurines. Let's take a look. Now, what are the two figurines, you guys are asking? Well, one of the figurines is of Iroha from Samurai Showdown, and the other is of Makoto Nania from Blaze Blue, which who I covered in the Waifus of Gaming, and if you don't know who that is, she is a playable, beloved Squirrel Kimono Mimi fighter. So yes, bushy-tailed Kimono Mimi with the extra fluff, guys. So, however, with that totally said, yes, the figurines are already set up. Uh, right over there and we will get that camera focused right over there where we will go ahead and take a look at the figurines and pretty much go through the design and just get a full 360 view of the figurines and just get a more in-depth analysis and yeah it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be nice because it involves two figurines and really two, I guess you could say, uh, not the biggest scale that anyone has ever achieved, but I would say the biggest I could ever get a hold of in terms of anime figurines. In, well, actually, there's the Tamamo no Mai Bikini Lancer for Fate Grand Order that's been sitting in my bedroom. But anyway, let's go ahead and... Take a look at Iroha and Makoto Nania. Now, as you can see here, we have Iroha and Makoto Nania sitting alongside my Shiranui, if you can see right there. And, of course, we are definitely... So, let's go ahead and figure out who we're going to do first. Now, I'm going to go by the order by where I got... Uh, or, actually, when did I get these figurines? I'm going to go by that order. So, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at Iroha from Samurai Showdown. As a matter of fact, this is perfect because... Now let's bring Iroha to the table and hopefully we didn't get the fan blowing towards the... My bad. Sorry for the loud crunching. I've got a couple of stuff in my floor that I failed to pick up. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it. Actually, we'll find a new area to basically go ahead and take a look at it because Actually, we'll pick a new area. Ah, I cleaned that one spot on the table, so we are pretty much in the good. Now we will go ahead and take a look at Iroha from Samurai Showdown. I don't know who made the figurine, but however, when I got the figurine, wherever it was at, uh, they, it didn't came in a box. There was no box. Now, the figurine here seems very interesting. Now, I would easily go ahead and flip this figurine over, but however, the situation here is that as soon as I flip that over, there is no there's no magnets or something like that, and it is very interesting. So with her, however, that one blade that she has in her hand right there that I'm pointing at is very loose, and I think it has something to do more of her getting more easygoing and kind of being more lighter and easygoing with that totally said. But, and like I said, the sandals are entirely here. There is no, uh, there, as you can see here in the plating, there is no insert. There is no insert where you can pl put it where the figurine can stay still. It is, like, essentially a very loose figurine. So we don't know who ended up making this. I'll go ahead and look at it. SNK Playmore, Griffin Enterprises. Okay, Griffin Enterprises, as you can see here. Apparently, Griffin Enterprises... I mean... <laughs> Griffin Enterprises made this figurine. Okay, so... Griffin did make this figurine, as you can totally see here. And, of course, it has the good old Essex Clay Playmore. And why is this place dirty? It, it, it is a used figurine when I picked it up, so, yeah. So, yeah, you can see the plating around here. And now we're going to take a look at Iroha 
if she does let go of the blade, oh well. So with that totally said, we'll go ahead and take a look at what we got. As you can see here, we have her sitting pose. She's at her sitting pose. We can totally see her face right there. And her outfit, as well as the beauty of Iroha. And, of course, uh, yeah, everybody's... And, yeah, Iroha has been introduced in Samurai Showdown 2019 as a DLC character for Season Pass 2. After her first debut in Samurai Showdown 6. It's been a long time, and it's great to see her again and see her back. So, yeah, definitely would totally look at that much. So, yes, she's got her traditional outfit, as you can see in Sam Show 6 in 2019. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the back. Yes, that's right, the bow. And, of course... Yes, you can totally see her. And her side. And go ahead and flip it over. And, uh, yeah. They just got everything fully detailed in totally 3D. Uh, I don't know if YouTube's gonna like that, but okay. <laughs> but, oh well. Uh, if I have to, I'll go ahead and... I don't know if YouTube will like that, but yeah, she's fully clothed anyway. And yeah, you can see her hairstyle, you can look above, and pretty much the ribbons on her back. I'll go ahead and flip that over, turn that over. So, and uh, here we go. So we'll go ahead and get that going and get those boots going you know what actually I'll get her set up when I put her back where I placed her well let's just say this lovely Iroha figurine is definitely gonna get you horny on main tonight and uh, yeah what do I think of her overall fantastic design the quality is amazing and top-notch I love the way she is posed and yeah, it is just beautiful. It just shows in a great, I guess you could say, Hellenistic uh, style. So, yeah, the figurine looks amazing. It's a wonderful addition to have in there. And, yeah, it is a little bit loose, and there is no um, inserts that kind of fasten the uh, figurine to the spot, but just it's kind of like the same as the Mina Majikina figurine that I ended up getting hold of. So yeah, yeah, that does end up being what it is. Yeah, that stuff be like that sometimes. And now, who is next? Guess what? Makoto Naniya from Blaze Blue. So, yeah, that's right. Let's see. Makoto Naniya looking fantastic, and boy, oh boy. Uh, let me go ahead and get the box, because she came in the box, brand new. You'd be totally amazed about this figurine, because... Yes, this figurine is given the blessing of Arc System Marks, and it is a 1 7th scale painted figurine. Okay. And, of course, it is by Freeing and Good Smile Company, with that totally said. And there's no image display on the box, however, there's uh, transparent installations that kind of show off the figurine, the actual figurine in display so if she were to be put in that figurine I mean if Makoto were to be put in that box you would totally see that figurine and you would see the figurine in all its quality looking amazing and what game is this figurine based off of it is based off of oh yes Continuum Shift 2 Continuum Shift 2 so yes, let's take a look at uh, Blaze Blue's beloved fluffy waifu fighter from Blaze Blue. Now we got Makoto Nania sitting up and wonderful well. We'll get like a wonderful full 360 view on there. So yeah. I guess I'll do it again since I did it at the end with Iroha. But boy, oh boy. 
Will you look at that? So I'm going to go ahead and tilt the figurine backwards so you can totally see Makoto and uh, how amazing she looks. Of course, we can totally take a look at the two-piece outfit that she's in, traditional. And, of course, we can totally see that and go ahead and get a look at her side. Oh, hey, you could totally rotate the... You could totally, like, rotate her weapon. Her, I wouldn't say her not to the doors, but... Uh, yeah, but... Look at her from the side, and then from the back. Then from the other side, we'll go ahead and take a look at the very bottom. Definitely look at that, and yes! That's right, and of course, you look at the head, the back, and yes, we can totally see the bushy tail right there. The fluffy tail. Four. And we can see her antenna accessory. So with that totally said, I'll go ahead and do it again with the 3D rotation. Looking really nice. And yeah. She was a very big deal when Continuum Shift came out and when she debuted as a DLC character in Continuum Shift. So yeah, look at that. Looking fantastic, looking marvelous, and uh... Yeah, looking really amazing, and if you could totally see the detail of the art, the great. So, yeah, faithful to source material, just like the Aroha figurine that we just took a look at. So, yes, Makoto, Nanya, in all her glory. And she is looking really nice. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the ears and the antenna. Looking really nice, and of course, you got that going well. And, of course, for the back and her hair, and we'll go through the tail, yes, we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, the, her hair looks nice, the back of her head, as well as the ears, and we'll take a look at the tail, it is pretty much faithful, really faithful, so, yeah. Yep, got that thing, and I like the detail when the weapons... Oh, my bad. Um, her tonfas are essentially, like, um, rotatable, which is absolutely super... Oh, no, it's not, no, but I kind of notice how rotatable it is. Oh, yeah. She does rotate her... She does kind of flip her... She does kind of... Uh, yeah, rotate 360 degree, rotate her tonfas in periods of time, so... It is something like that. So, yeah. Her boots looking nice, and she is standing still, so it's not another one of those little loose placements. So, yeah, that's Makoto Nanaya for you. And I'll go ahead and lean her back for a bit. I'll go ahead and lean her back for a bit. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put her right where I placed her and go through what I thought overall. Makoto Nanaya, what do I think? Fantastic design, amazing detail, and, uh, yeah. Makoto Nanaya just, like, brought to life, brought to fully uh, 3D with very faithful material and looks really nice. And, uh, yeah, if Blaze Blue were to get the Guilty Gear XR treatment, we would totally, it would look, she would look totally nice in 3D because you do have that 2D anime style maintained, just like, uh, just like it was in Guilty Gear XR. But, however, uh, we don't know when that new Blaze Blue game is happening, and uh, Blaze Blue had reached its uh, conclusion in terms of its story and lore, so who knows? But hey, Makoto Nania, she's looking nice, looking beautiful, looking pretty. 
So, uh, yeah. Now, what do I think of the two? Iroha is looking beautiful and elegant, and, of course, Makoto Nania is basically showing off what makes Makoto Nania Makoto Nania a nice looking cute and hot squirrel girl fighter with with fluffy ears and a fluffy tail so yeah and Iroha from Samurai Showdown her beauty maintained and uh, much more faithful actually both of the figurines are really really faithful very faithful and uh, So, yeah, two good-looking figurines, and they're going to look nice in one of my video setups, which I already have figured out. So, those two figurines are looking nice, impressive, and very price. well, I'd say pricey, like in the $100 range each. But, hey, fantastic times, and it's sitting right with my Shiranui. So, yeah, the my Shiranui Noodle Stopple figurine noodle stopper figurine. That's what I meant to say. I gotta be careful with my grammar errors. <laughs> We're maintaining a professional video, alright? Anyway, I got a couple of texts, and we'll get right on going to the conclusion. Anyway, that's Makoto Nania from Freeing alongside Good Smile, and Iroha from Samurai Showdown made by Griffin Enterprises and uh, yeah two looking great and of course that's going to be it for this lovely video and I will be looking forward to you in the next one. Peace out.